let's grill some fish. In today's video, we're just gonna go over the basics of how to grill a whole fish. Now, the whole challenge is, is to keep the skin from sticking to the grill grate and then creating a big mess. Everything revolves around that. So the whole prep was basically gonna be about how to prevent that skin from sticking. So we've already cleaned our fish, it's all ready to go, but let me lay it out and walk you through the steps on how to prevent skin sticking. Okay, let's get started. We've got our beautiful mangrove snapper here. It's been scaled, gutted, and the gills removed. So it's all ready to go. But first, I just took this out of the refrigerator, so I want it to kind of get to room temperature. So we're just gonna let it sit out for about 10 minutes before we start doing anything. So in the meantime, we could do a few things. One is to go out to the grill, just give it a quick brushing to make sure those grill grates are clean. And then uh, we'll come back and finish this prep here. Okay, so we're at the grill. Just give it a quick little brush down with a wire brush. We wanna make sure all the uh, food particles are uh, knocked off there. It's got a clean, smooth surface. Then while it's still cold, I'm just gonna take some oil on a rag and just kind of give it a quick wipe down while it's cool. Let that oil soak in. And then uh, we'll actually do that again once it's heated up, but this will give a, a nice base to work with. So that's all ready to go. Now I've just got some cooking oil on a towel. I'm just gonna give it a quick rub there. Really no different than like prepping a uh, cast iron pan. Just get a nice little coating there. We're just gonna try to create a non-stick surface. Get a nice little layer there. All right, good to go. Now the next tip is we wanna make sure that these grates get really hot. So we're gonna take some time to preheat it and uh, get these guys warmed up. Okay, back to the fish. It's been slowly warming up. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a paper towel and we're just gonna blot it dry, okay? Cause we wanna eliminate that wet moisture from the skin. Cause all this is about is preventing that skin from sticking. Just keep patting it dry there. Okay, I'm actually gonna fly this on there because that's dry. Okay, now we're ready to season. Next, we're gonna season the fish and I'm starting off with some basic salt and pepper, keeping it basic. This is actually some pink salt there. I'm gonna do the outside, the inside. Okay, and then just some regular pepper. And we're gonna do a little bit of an oil rub. Okay, and that's again, all about keeping that skin from sticking. Just gonna rub that on there so there's a light coating. Even on the fins there, because if they grab, they'll tear the, uh, the flesh. And we can turn this over. And do the same on the other side. A little light rubbing. All right, looks good. All ready for the grill. Okay, we're gonna take a rag soaked in some oil and we're just gonna brush it on there. Give it another second coating since that other stuff is already burning off. Okay, our fish is ready. Grill is ready, nice and hot. So we're just gonna roll this guy right on there. And the way I've set it, it's kind of at an angle, so you get those kind of diagonal grill marks, but also room when I flip it, I'm gonna go that way so it uh, rolls over easily. I'm gonna turn down the heat a little bit and shut that lid. That's all we gotta do. Another tip, don't mess with it. Once you've set it there, just let it sit. If you start shuffling it around, that's where you're gonna start tearing the skin and whatnot. Let it sit, close the lid, walk away. That's Puma in the daytime, chillaxing. Puma, say something. Say it. Say it. Say something. Say something. Nothing? All right. All right, let's take a look. 
browning up nicely. You can kind of see the tail there and the fins are burning up. The other thing you can tell when it's getting good is because it's not going to stick. It releases by itself. You can take a look, see if it's browning up. Looking good. Almost ready for the flip. Okay, time for the flip or the rollover. You use the prong serving forks. That allow me to get underneath there and do a flip. Nice. All right, I think we are done. Let's check this guy out and make sure it's not gonna be sticking. Any sticky spots? Oh, got a sticky spot. Got the head sticking. Oh, no, I think we're good. So let's get this guy out of here and on the plate. Shut up, chickens. There. Oops, a little bit of sticking. A little bit of stickage. As you can see here, I had a little bit of skin stickage. There's just one little spot there, but if you have the whole bunch of it sticking, it's gonna just rip it apart and make it impossible to turn, possible to get off without leaving a bunch of skin and meat there. So that's why all the prep for this. All right, there we go. We have our nice grilled fish there. All the skin is intact, no tears, rips, no flame meat ripped off. So looking good. So let's plate this guy up and get to eating. Okay, got our sides, got some green beans, some white rice. That's about all you need there. But in regards to this fishy fish here, boom, let's cut this down here. Skin's still crunchy. And then we can just roll off this filet there. Look at that meat. Nice and juicy. <laughs> Look at that. So you can eat the skin because it'll come out crunchy because of the oil, or you can just roll off the filet meat there. Look at that. Nice. All right, let's take a taste of this. Look at that. Nice and moist. It's about as moist as the foil packs are. Mmm. Just perfect. Nice, flaky, solid textured white meat. Mmm. Excelente. Alrighty, that's how we do some basic whole grilled fish. Nice and easy, okay? Uh, I have a feeling a lot of people go out and try to grill fish and they don't go through all the preparation stages and that skin ends up sticking to the grill grate. They try flipping it, it just rips off chunks of flesh and the, the filet and then they just have a big old broken up mess and I just say, forget that, never doing that again. If that's the case, do the foil packs. Then you don't have to worry about it at all. But if you wanna get into the straight on grilling of the fish, those are the steps that'll really help you out. Just remember, it's the focus is on getting that skin to not uh, stick. So for the fish preparation, remember room temperature, pat it down dry, oiled up nice and uh, nicely there, okay? Then to the grill preparation, you wanna make sure it's a clean grill grate so nothing is gonna stick. Then when it's still cool, put a layer of oil on those grates, fire it up, get it really heat and hot, run another layer of oil on there, okay? When that grill is really, really hot, go ahead and roll that fish on there and just shut the lid and walk away, okay? Uh, you can tell the doneness by just looking at the edges of the tail and the fins. As they start browning up and crinkling up, you'll know that they're getting a nice heat to them, okay? You could test it also by doing the rollover. If it just rolls right over, that means that skin is already pulled away from the grates and it's not gonna stick. And that's a good test of doneness as well. If you start lifting on it, it's, you could feel it sticking, put it back down, just let it sit there. Uh, what'll happen as it cooks longer, that skin will eventually just pop off of that heated grate and then it'll be free. Roll it over, shut that grate, let it sit, okay? Again, keep an eye on those edges where they're nice and crispy and browned up, you're good to go. Second golden rule, don't overcook fish, especially straight out of the water fish. You don't need to. Uh, remember, these fish quality is basically you could sashimi it and eat it raw if you wanted to. So overcooking it is the worst thing you could do. Undercook it, it's no problem. 
throw it in the microwave for a minute and it'll finish it off get that exterior nice and crusty and you're good to go so anyways hopefully that's helpful get you out there do that whole fish grilling but uh anyways thanks for watching and i'll see you next video bye